thank you for taking this, your time to do this world food tour with us. So we're Bob and Fran, healthy aging coaches and authors and plant-based eaters. We are fortunate enough to have traveled to more than 75 different countries worldwide and have made food a priority with every adventurous trip we have taken. Today, we want to share some travel memories with you and tell you about some delicious and inspirational meals that we have enjoyed along the way. All of the recipes are on our website at bobandfran.com. That link is in the description below. So let's get started right now. Well, I started, <laughs> when we started uh, thinking about this, we thought of the countries that, that were among our favorites for food and Italy was right there at the top. We had been lucky enough to go to Israel, I mean, to Italy <laughs> several times. We've been to Israel several yeah. times as well, but Italy always is uh, at, the, at the top. Great place for food. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember we were visiting, we were staying uh, in Tuscany on one trip and we were uh, halfway between Siena and uh, Florence. Florence. And we went to Siena, we drove to Siena, and uh, we were told that there was a, a, like a place to park for us that was within walking distance of all that we wanted to see there. And it was right off the main highway. And I remember I missed the turn because it was one of these uh, circular uh, roundabouts. roundabouts. And I think I tried three times and I missed them all three <laughs> times. And I wound up... Uh, uh, going the wrong way on a one-way street. And uh, I, I found myself at a stop sign in front of the police station there going the wrong way. And what did I get? But like People just waving, waving and, <laughs> and waving us on and smiling and sort of laughing. And uh, I think that was yeah. such a positive experience. I'll never forget it. I was panicked. <laughs> Fran was panicked, but... But we turned turn around and get back on the right direction and into the parking lot. Yeah, and we had a great, great time okay. in uh, Siena. Uh, one other thing I, I do remember is that that evening, we were driving home, and it was very late, and it was rainy, and we were starving. We were very hungry, and... Uh, this we, was after the tourist season, so there weren't a lot of restaurants open. Yeah. And we, we had heard about this one place, and we pulled in, and it was closed, but we knocked on the door, and the owner opened the door to the restaurant. It was a little tiny <laughs> osteria yeah. owned by a family, and uh, I think it was the dad, the father, that yeah. came, came to the door. And we told him that, you know, that we were plant-based, and he took a pot of ribolito out of the refrigerator, which is a, an Italian vegetable soup that's made with uh, day-old um, bread, bread. Thick, heavy and bread. And he warmed it up and served it to us, and it was so delicious. Yeah, he was, it was his pleasure to open yeah. the restaurant out, out <laughs> just, just for, for us. us. And Very we, cool. we had this great bowl, big bowl of hot soup that yeah. warmed us up. Never forget that. So a couple of our favorite recipes we have posted on our website at bobnfran.com. And they include lasagna roll-ups from, from the Amalfi, Amalfi Coast. Yeah. It's, it's another version of lasagna. These are great. Instead of having a pan of lasagna, you have roll-ups with spinach and uh, made with tofu and spices. It's really good. It's a great gift, a great a meal dish, for, yeah. for a guest. It yeah. makes enough for a, a lot mm, of people. Yeah. And the other one that we love is eggplant parmesan from Tuscany. Yeah. And the parmesan in this is made with cashew, um, a recipe that is made with chopped cashews instead of cheese. Really yeah, good. So it's uh, certainly Delicious. vegan. Yeah. yeah. Another place that uh, we enjoy the food very much was uh, in Mexico. We've been to Mexico a few times, but we spent a month in Oaxaca, Mexico. And it, it was just a great walking city. There was music all over, colorful buildings. All, all, just all the never, colors were beautiful. Fantastic. 
And while we're not a big juice drinking couple, we walked about four miles every morning to go to this little tiny one man stand, an orange juice stand, where the guy had a ton of fresh oranges. He'd cut them. He'd, In this he'd, huge yeah, manual he'd, juicer. Yeah. And I never oh tasted my, orange juice like that. Yeah, it was absolutely the best orange juice ever, an unforgettable experience for really us. Really good. And Fran has chosen uh, her, I love enchiladas, and I especially love the vegan enchiladas that Fran yeah, prepares. They're really easy to make with uh, brown rice, black beans, salsa, and spinach. It's, I guess they're simple to make. I don't know. I just And again, that makes a big enough um, recipe you know, for, so that you have it either for company yeah. or for several meals for the, you and your, whoever you have live with. So... Thailand, uh, many of you know, we spent over nine years of time. Yeah, nine winters. Yeah, in, in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, we we had in, incredible experiences. We, we, we could literally walk to 30 vegetarian restaurants. Yeah. And they call them vegetarian because they don't use dairy products. And even the dishes that include egg, they do it in such a way that the egg just sits on top of the dish and it's easy to eliminate it. Yeah, but we, but, we had unforgettable food there and experiences that oh. we'll never forget. We had the privilege of teaching at the Buddhist University there for a six, over a six year period. And uh, we became very friendly with literally hundreds of Buddhist monks and learned a lot from them, shared experiences. And uh, can I can I tell about an experience we had? Sure. <laughs> You're the boss here. <laughs> One day we were standing out in front of a shop waiting for a woman who was working in the shop to come out to take us to a meeting. And a bus pulled in front and stopped. Behind the bus, there was a young man on a motorbike. Motorbikes are the main mode of transportation for most people in Chiang Mai. They the guy on the motorbike couldn't stop fast enough. Yeah. And so he slammed on the brake and the motorbike tipped on the side and he and the bike slid under the bus. Mm -hmm. We were standing right there and we were horrified. But the bus, of course, the driver didn't know that this had happened. And after he picked up his passenger, he left. He went on his way. The guy on the motorbike got up brushed himself off, didn't get hurt. He said, my pen rye, and he rode off. This was the first time we heard about the expression, my pen rye. You want to explain what that is? Sure. My, my pen rye translated to English would be something like never mind. But it's not the kind of, you know, it's the kind of never mind if you get in a little squabble and you say, oh, never mind. And you walk off in and a you, huff. Yeah. This is means literally put it out of your mind. So if you have an unfortunate experience, like getting <laughs> Falling under over a bus, a bus <laughs> he gets himself up and he says, my pen ride, no, no big, big deal. deal, put it out of my mind. And so we have never forgotten that. And so when we run across situations that may be unpleasant in certain ways, we just say, my, my pen, pen ride. ride. It's a good so, way to live your life. Yeah. Israel, we mentioned inadvertently earlier, but we spent uh, several trips to Israel. And I remember the first time, <laughs> the, the very first trip there, when we stopped at a roadside stand and it was featuring falafel. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Fred didn't even like the look of it. And this is a long, long time ago, way before we became plant-based. Yeah. And I did not eat unusual things. No, Fran wasn't very adventurous about her Yeah, eating. very unadventurous. Yeah. Now I make delicious baked falafel and it's so good. Yeah, no oil, very high flavor. And we she makes sort of a, a platter with uh with the falafel along with uh I like Israeli salad yeah. and um usually hummus or baba ganoush, which basically is hummus with eggplant in yeah. it. And I think we use some farro with mushrooms yeah. as a side dish. Right, really delicious. Oh my god. 
So the falafel recipe, I think, is on our website as well. And I know that uh, my favorite hummus. hummus that you make is that lemony flavor. So easy to make. That is on the website as yeah. well. So those two were sort of modeled after our food experiences. Where we and, did start eating that kind of food. <laughs> yeah, in Tel Aviv. Yeah. And so, then we go to India. So I think my favorite, we have been to Israel, India a few times as well. Um, oh, I had a funny experience, like after we had been to India, and I asked this Indian woman, how do we make these sauces? And she says, well, I don't make my own sauce. I buy it from the Indian grocery. Yeah. So I buy Jalfrezi, J-A-L-F-E-F-R-E-Z-I, curry sauce. It's the only curry sauce that's vegan. It yeah. doesn't have any dairy product in it. And it's delicious for making real simple curries. Yeah, Fran makes a curry, I know, with uh, these incredible with potatoes and mushrooms. And garbanzo beans, oh chickpeas. God, yeah, so real simple. Good. Over rice, it's wonderful. Yeah. With a, like a whole wheat pita on the side. Yeah. I think my favorite place, we've been all over India, north and south. And I think my favorite place was Varanasi. Varanasi, Varanasi is up in the northeast section of India. If you've never heard of it, it is the town where literally people go to die. It's the Ganges River. It is, yeah. runs through Varanasi, and that, that is their holy river. There were hospices all around where yeah. people actually go to in, at the end of their life, and um, there's funeral pyres burning, but they don't smell because they put sandalwood on the fire. It's amazing, amazing experience. Yeah, even if you Google it and see some videos on uh, Varanasi, it's worth your while. It's like one of the most amazing places yeah. on this earth. Thousands of pilgrims go there every day. Every day. So we have been to Japan numerous times as we uh, fly uh, to, as we used to fly to Thailand. And uh, Fran has invented a tempura recipe that we enjoy with oil our, free our vegetables no oil in an air fryer and mushrooms is, and onions and peppers it, and if you like, whatever you like in your tempura sweet you, potato oh my gosh really it's so, good. and the mushrooms i could just make a meal out of the, the, the i know you wanted just mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> I, know. I love them morocco uh is another fascinating place uh it's an a, it's an unusual country with delicious smells and sounds and colors. And uh, we, I remember <laughs> when, I can't, I, I, I think it was Casablanca yeah. where we, there have, they, has, they have this big square in the middle of town and we walk, walking through the square and this snake charmer has a basket with uh, few snakes in it. A cobra. But she, this guy sort of took to Fran. He wrapped the snake around my neck. Yeah, I mean, slowly. He did it carefully. <laughs> and he, he asked if yeah. she would participate. So Fran, sure. <laughs> she said, yeah. And uh, so it, it drew a big crowd. There must have been 50 or more people standing around watching as the snake came out of the basket. basket. And then he picked it up and wrapped it around Fran's neck. I'll never forget that one. I'll also never forget the recipe that Fran got for a spicy Moroccan lentil soup, which is delicious from Casablanca. That boy, on a on a cool day outside, this spicy soup is yeah. just warms well, your energy. It's fantastic. <laughs> so check it out on the recipe section uh, on our website. Uh, we have been to many, many countries, many more than we are listing here, but I think we'll go uh, maybe one more. One more. Uh, Korea is another place, and we learned about something called bibimbap. Bibimbap. If you've never been to a Korean restaurant, let me explain. It's a, a stone bowl. I actually bought a couple on the internet, and what you do is you put um, rice, I put my brown, cooked brown rice in the stone bowl, and I put it in the oven at a high temperature so that it kind of heats up and crisps. Yeah. And then on top of it, I put sauteed shiitake mushrooms and pickled cucumbers and 
carrots, carrots and, and spinach, cucumber, yeah, spinach and some oh. air fryer tofu on top and some black sesame seeds and some chopped green onions. But on top of that, you put a um, Korean barbecue sauce, and I won't even try to pronounce the name because it, I can't. And it, <laughs> it's is, it is spicy good, and it's... It's something, do we post this on the website? I think we did as well. I don't know, but, it, but a bibimbap bowl. Bibimbap. Bibimbap bowl. <laughs> Absolutely. Really fun. Delicious. Yeah. And uh, let's do China. We spent okay. a lot of time in China. And, oh, God. Uh, we had a we studied. Crazy uh, we actually learned uh, Qigong in, in China and studied there. And uh, the we've had... A lot of crazy experiences, <laughs> yeah, but, China. But let we, me explain. We were there in 1992. Yeah. At the time when China was, everybody rode bicycles. You didn't see cars. Mm -hmm. Nobody spoke English. You heard the, the bells, oh, the bicycle after bells. After we left, we could still hear the, the bicycle. bicycle bells. Yeah. Um, nobody spoke English. No signs were in English. And one day we got lost. We we're wandering around <laughs> Shanghai and we couldn't find our hotel. We, we didn't even know the name of our hotel, I don't think. And nobody spoke English. We, wa we walked into <laughs> several shops. Even the young, younger people can't speak English. Now it's speak. totally different. Now yeah. everybody drives a big SUV and there's English <laughs> yeah. signs everywhere. But actually, we did it by making sort of a map. And uh, I think. Uh, I, don't had, how we did, I don't know. Did we ever find our way back? I don't think we ever did. <laughs> We're still looking for it. I'll tell you one thing we found was a recipe for Chinese egg roll. So easy to make. And this is another air fryer thing. Yeah. And uh, whenever Fran makes a sort of a, a Chinese stir fry or something, uh, we also do some Chinese egg rolls yeah, as an really appetizer. Good. And it's really, when you think about it, an oxymoron. Because there's no egg no. in my Chinese egg rolls. No, but you call them Chinese eggless rolls. Yeah, and what about the dipping sauce? Oh yeah, oh, I make a dipping sauce. It's so good. Really good. Hey guys, okay, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> we have a lot more countries to go. If you like this one, we could do more, and uh, we appreciate your loyalty to us, your subscribing, and uh, your patience with us because. We have like no frill videos going. <laughs> we don't have a lot of pop ups and lights and yeah. But check out things. our recipes. I think you'll really enjoy them. Yeah, They're very tasty, very deep, rich flavors. Yeah, and thanks. We do not eat just brown rice and steamed vegetables ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye, Bye. for now.